Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we're going to be checking out a Tega 6436, which is a pretty much a fan favorite of a lot of the players of this game, myself included, and we're going to be checking out the tweaks and adjustments that have been made by Emil. Now, if you don't know who Emil is, basically, he's been doing some tweaks on the factory in-game trucks and trailers that are actually fairly high quality, and he's got some really interesting features that he adds to this truck. Like, for example, there's like seven or eight different engines that you can put in this thing. There's a new gearbox, there's a, like, a, a, a new, you know, like, whole set of tire options. There's a new set of lift options and with how good the Tega is already I'm kind of uh kind of wondering how over the top this one is but without any further ado let's take it to the garage and find out because we need to test it out in order to find out now in stock form you know what I noticed that's different I mean other than like just like it, it looks completely stock the steering angle is dramatically different, dramatically changed. So, let's go into the customization. Now, we have the LAZ8 T260, the T290, and the IMZ833, or sorry, 330T. We also have Emil's truck engine stages 1 through 7. And I think I'm going to start with a stage 4. Then we'll, we'll come back later, we'll do like a stage 7 build. Now... Gearbox, you have balanced, high range, off-road, and Emil's truck gearbox, A8L3H1. Pretty self-explanatory as to what that means. Now, we're going to go ahead and install it, and suspension-wise, we have, what is that, four different raised heights. So it looks like a little bit of a lift all round. A little bit less lift, but maybe a little bit more, um, like, bracing. And then the bottom one is the highest. Okay, so... I'm going to go with not the highest, but the, like, kind of just, like, one off from the highest lift. And now, obviously, since it's an Emil truck, we have a ridiculous amount of tires. The highest it'll let us go is 52s. And actually, look at that offset. That's pretty sick. It's those Bluetooth hubs doing work, man. I tell you what. But, no, if you really wanted to, like genuinely make this truck super wide you could and i mean they have huge versions of just about every type of tire you might want or might be interested in now obviously these are more sort of like road ish all-terrain ish well here's where the all-terrain start now it what is that p12 at whoa that's really cool. So there's a lot of different a lot of different types of tires you can use. You can go all the way up to a 52 in just about any tire you want. And they also have different offsets. So I, I really like that. I really like how he's catered to just about every single type of different offset you might want. Now, yes, this is similar to his ANK MK38, but there are obviously some differences being that this started life as a Tega. Now, you can even do... 51-inch Hummer H2 tires, it, like wheels and tires, if you wanted to. 48s as well, but with wider offset. That's really, really cool. You even do that, like the ANK setup. God, I'm, I'm all about this. Oh my God. Bro, I bet you that's actually OP as heck. Like Hummer wheels and tires on a lifted Tega. I bet you that is stupidly OP. Man, look at that Bluetooth axle connection. Boy, I tell you what. All right, let's... Mm, Let's throw those on there for now and then just see what else we can find because I'm very curious. But, eh. Those are 48s just on a different offset. They, they've got just about whatever offset you could possibly want. Like, back again to 51s just in a different offset. I mean, there's so many different freaking offsets. It's not even funny. Like, good God. And then, obviously, you have the 52s if you so desired to run something that crazy. So, now, let's get into the mud tires. The mud tires are where it gets fun. Mud tires are where it gets real fun. So, let's see. 52T. Oh, my God. Those look sick. TMSH. Yep. If you want to go, like, wide boy, super wide boy, that's going uh, to be the route for you. I really like... Where did they go? Oh, my God. They disappeared. Oh my god, they disappeared, and now I'm upset. Wait. Aha! I really like these. I don't know why. I just think they look... They look different, but, like, they look cool. I mean... 
I'm kind of okay with this whole like 52 inch Hummer wheel and tire setup. I just want to see how grippy it is because those are OP on the Hummer. So I don't know if it's going to be just as OP here on the Tega, but we'll find out. Now, frame add-on wise, you can go just about as crazy as you so desire. Uh, really, anything that comes stock in the game, you can just hook up and put on and you're good to go. Now, I think for my purposes at the moment, I'm just going to throw a flatbed on it. And let's see. Mm, not going to worry about the fenders, I don't think. Although, ah, they're the same price. Okay. Uh, let's, ah, cabin AC. It's kind of, it's kind of funny, but like, it's kind of cool to have it there. Beacons of fog lights and front bumper reinforced, reinforced, hinged. Lattice bumper, heavy duty pipe. Front bumper delete, which, I mean, I don't know why you would want the front bumper delete, but... I mean, I guess that's up to you. Never really actually used this one, so I'm going to go with that bumper. Now, miscellaneous. Let's see. Twin horns. External horn. Ah, twin horns. Might as well, right? Muzzle exhaust. It's my favorite. Like, it, it's just... It just looks so menacing on, like, any truck you put it on. It looks so good. Now, as far as colors go... I know he had some interesting combinations on his MK38. I don't know about this one. This one... Doesn't really seem like he has all that many. I mean, it's there are some cool ones. I mean, I, I will say that there are some cool ones, but they're not exactly like they're not exactly like the over the top craziness that I would have expected. You know what I mean? But I put fifty two inch Hummer wheels and tires on a Tega, and this is what's about to happen. Let's go. Right now, running a Stage 4 engine. I'll swap that out for a Stage 7 engine in a little while. But I just want to see what the capabilities of the truck are like. Because these these truck tweaks by Emil basically allow you to take trucks that you would have otherwise used anyway. Or trucks that you may not have liked and added a little bit more performance where they may not have had it before. Now, the Tega isn't one of those trucks. The Tega, I think, has plenty of performance right out of the box for the vanilla, for the vanilla game. But... It's always fun to add more. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where, oh my god, go go in the original direction I pointed you in, you doofus. But no, it's it's fun to add over-the-top performance to trucks that don't need it. I agree. Now, yes, I'm sure that'll throw off the balance of the game in some people's opinion. But at the end of the day, though, too, like, oh my god, these tires are OP. Oh my god. I mean, I knew they were OP on the Hummer, but... They're just as OP here. I mean, you throw these things on the Tega in, like, 52-inch size. It's stupid. Look at this. It's stupid. It is absolutely stupid. What did we just do? What? What did we just freaking do? Look at what this thing is just, like, is just driving through. We're on, by the way, stage 4 engine, not stage 7. If we were on stage 7, this would be like, whoop, done deal, done and over with. Like, wow. This thing is, uh, too good for its own good, I think. I mean, it's insane, and I love it, but... You could quite literally, like, destroy the campaign mode with this. You could absolutely obliterate the campaign mode with this. I mean, I don't know how you could... I don't know how you could do the campaign mode with this and not come out, like, literally on top of the world. I mean, like, you've literally put the most OP wheel and tire combination in the game on one of the most OP trucks in the game. And it's like, okay, have at it. Enjoy yourselves. Now, normally, I don't really, like, side with the people that are like, oh my god, mods, you know, mods, like, make the game unbalanced, isn't that, blah, blah, blah. But I'll tell you something. Does this make the game unbalanced? Heck yeah, it probably does. But you know what? Am I complaining about it? No. No. Doesn't even care about mud. It's like, oh, okay. I wonder how it'll do... Uh, well, bleh, I wonder how it'll do off the jump. Oh, my God. Come on. Shift up. Shift up. Shift up. I don't enjoy this thing going off... Like, going up hills. It's like... I was like... Yeah, I wonder how it'll do off the jump. And it was like... Yeah, jumps? We don't do those here. You know what that means? Wait a minute. Engine 9. 
What is engine nine? Engine nine? How are you in the mud now? Okay, maybe the Hummer tires aren't a catch-all. Wow, that winch is dumb powerful, though. That winch is, like, dumb powerful. Maybe the Hummer tires aren't, like, this ultimate catch-all, but they're still dang good. Like, they're still just... They're still better than I feel like they sh should be, but I, I, I have a hard time saying that because I don't want them to change. Never change, Hummer tires. Never change. God, never change. I love this truck. I love this truck. It's so stupid, but it's so hilarious. Like, how will you do through the rock field? I'm assuming I'm going to have to repair you after this. You know what? Not as badly as I thought. Not as badly as I originally thought, but, uh, oof. That was a big oof. Let's run it back through the rock, uh, like the rock area. Oh God. Oh God. Ah, there we go. Just barely saved that from utter doom. Don't even care. I got my finger on the repair button. Let's go. <laughs> it shouldn't be able to do what it's doing right now. I should have flipped on my side. Like, a long time ago. I really should have flipped on my side in this thing a long time ago. And I'm going to give it a challenge here that I don't know if it can do in high, but... If it can do this in high... We... It might... Oh my god! Wow! Well, this is... This is stupid! On every possible level. But you know what? I love it on every possible level. I'm not saying it's stupid in a bad way, but my god, is it fun. I wonder what happens if I just, you know, yeet it. But it doesn't even care. I kept it, I kept it flat out in height. I didn't even care. It's like, oh, okay, no big deal. Betcha this will probably stop it. What? Okay, that should have been the end. That should have been the end. And it's still trying. Hold on. That is way more in the realm of doable than it should be. And I am very intrigued to find out if it actually is. Let's go? Question mark? Boy. Boy. Nah. I mean, oh no, oh, no, balancing act, don't worry about it, I'm a trained professional, don't try this at home. Oh, come on! Oh, it was trying so hard! Dude, it was, it was seriously trying so freaking hard. And you know what? Maybe with Dr. Gonzo's rock traction fix, maybe it would be able to do that. But you know what? That in and of itself makes this thing probably like this combination, the Tega with wheels and tires off of an H2, like this makes it probably the most OP uh, Emil truck tweak I think I've ever, ever used. Now, let me know your thoughts on this thing in the comment section down below. It's actually a pretty small mod. So if you want to just like sub to it and try it out yourselves, if you're on PC, go for it. I think you really should. It's, it's an absolute blast to use. And if you guys are new around here, please do consider clicking that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell if you would like to see more videos like this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you all later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.